guys so as you guys can see my Erin Condren order came in so one thing I do want to note about this is I did order on like the pre pre-sale day May 1st and I do have a hardbound so I know that a lot of people who had hardbounds it didn't ship out right away which is kind of funny because I thought you would think it'd be the other way around because they're not super customizable um, but my order so Wednesday May 17th was the estimated ship date and then on Thursday evening, I emailed customer service just to get kind of an idea um, when I could expect it because, I'm not going to lie, I was getting kind of jealous seeing everybody else getting their orders. And they kind of just told me that it was just an approximated ship date and that it would ship soon or whatever. They didn't really give me an exact answer. And then on Friday, it actually shipped. And I live in Dallas, so and the warehouse is in Austin, so I knew I would get it quickly, but... Um, I had only known that it had shipped from the website, so when I would log into the website, it told me that my order shipped, but there was no tracking number, and I never got an email with the tracking number, and then today this just showed up, which is Saturday, so I got it, I knew I would get it quickly, but yeah, that was super random, so if I hadn't been checking the website, I wouldn't have even known that my order was on its way, so definitely check the website to see kind of the status of your order. Mine was in printing for a very long time, but it came in this huge box, so one thing is I don't have the like 2018 planner. I use mine January to December, that's just kind of how I like to use it, and I don't know, I'm just going to wait until like November once they do like a discount and then I'll order my new planner, but I did get a hard balance so I'm going to show you guys that and I did get some accessory accessories um, And I have kind of looked through this really quickly So I do know that like everything's in here. I have a few issues, which I'm going to show you guys Not a big deal though. I'm sure customer service will be great about it So I did take my invoice out that was in here So we have the cute new postcard being kind never goes out of style and the little enjoy sticker and then here's how everything comes nice and packaged. Super nice. And then it does have the nice bubble wrap. So yeah, let me, well, I can just kind of show you guys everything in the box, everything that I got. So first thing, I did pick up the colorful dual tip markers in the pastels. Actually, just right over here, I have the original ones. And I do really like these, they have the fine and the um, medium point and I just have been really into pastel colors so I oh, I loved those so I picked up the pastels I did also get the monthly tabs which it was kind of funny I had seen somebody post on the Facebook group that the hardbounds are 18 months these are only 12 months of tabs mine kind of fell out I did get the colorful ones but I'm actually thinking I won't put these on here anymore just because, well, I only have 12 months worth of tabs, so there'd be six months with no tab. And I don't know, I don't think the colors match exactly, and I think that would kind of bug me, so. But I did get those. And then I also got these, which are the sticky storage pockets, because the hardbounds do not have any sort of pocket, and I do really like these. I think these are so pretty, you get three of them. I love the metallic rose gold painted petals, that one, that design. I do really like it that's really cute oh and you can actually that's kind of cool they show you in a notebook you could do it sideways that's nice so I got those then for freebies um, we have the sticker sheet which has rose gold foil super pretty and then another freebie was the hardbound notebook in turquoise so even though this notebook was a freebie it is really nice I really like these um, these are my first ones looking at them but I don't know if you guys can tell but it's got like these weird scrapes on them like glue I may I'm gonna try and get it off if I can it's on the back too I don't know I'll try to get it on camera it's kind of like these lines there you go I think you guys can see them now they're kind of like these weird lines I don't really know what that's about but yeah I'm gonna try and I think I could probably get them off with like a wet towel or something like that. It does have the little ribbon bookmark and the edges of the pages are just kind of colored to match the notebook which I think is really pretty. It definitely steps these notebooks up a notch and then you open them and you have the pretty foil interior. I love this. That's gorgeous. Open it up. I just really really like these. I was really excited to get one and then there is a little coupon in there. Oh that quote with that foil. Oh I love it. So that is the turquoise, and that was for free with a light planner purchase. And then I also 
also picked up one in salmon. I thought this was so pretty, this color. So good for summer. I'm going on a Mediterranean cruise this summer, and this one it just made me think of like watermelon pink. And I thought this would be perfect for like journaling the trip. I really only do like journaling for like trips and stuff. I do really love doing it when I'm on vacation. So I can kind of look back and remember how I felt that day and what I did and everything. And like I said, I thought this one would be so cute for summer. I also thought this would be really cute to keep my purse. Maybe if I want to like jot down a restaurant we went to or something like that. Again, you've got the pretty striped interior with the little um, script words. And then again, it's just a standard college world notebook. And again, you do have those dyed pages. The back has another coupon and the same beautiful back. But this one is perfect. And I just the feel of these is so nice. And then for the exciting things, I did get the Planny Pack. A lot of people are talking about this. Zip it up, plan it out. It's like a fanny pack for your life planner. Slip the stylish elastic band over the cover and tuck your extras inside. Take your must-have accessories with you on the go. So, so cute. And this you could definitely turn like a dashboard or something. So I did get it in the Cherry Blossom, which has the rose gold. They do have a linen and silver. The linen's kind of like a grayish off-white with silver foil. You have the Cherry Blossom with the rose gold and the black with the gold. But I've always been obsessed with like pink and rose gold. It's so pretty. And the zipper is really, really nice. Like it's like one of those like nice zippers. And yeah, it's just like a little pencil pouch in there. It's not huge to be honest. Like it doesn't open too big. So it's not like a huge pencil pouch, but I don't think you'd want to stuff a lot in it if you're gonna put it on your planner. And then they have the asterisk. The rose gold hardware is actually really, really quite beautiful. And then you have the little slip in the back. I love this sparkly uh, band here. And the slip pocket I think is another great addition. It just makes it a little more useful. So that's the plan, the planning pack. And then we have my hardbound vertical planner. So I'm going to move this box out of the way so we can get, um, so you guys can get a really close look at this. Okay, so this is how it comes. I did get it in the cherry blossom color. So you have the little piece here that just says it's the hardbound life planner. Cute. I did get mine personalized. So the large one is $35 plus $5 for personalization. Um, so I did get my name on it. Um, I always get my first and my middle name. I don't know why. I just, I like it like that. Um, and that's really, really beautiful with it because it matches the asterisk. So it's really pretty. Um, so I will show a teeny, tiny flaw with this one. I'm going to contact customer service and see what they say. I don't know. It's kind of a more just me being picky flaw, but it does kind of bug me. Um, but nonetheless, this is really beautiful. So I do want to show it to you guys. Um, I mean, it's, it's got the barcode sticker, but it's just, it's really quite beautiful. So my plan for this is to use it as my school planner for next year. I'm starting college. Um, I do plan to still have my traditional vertical planner that I plan with stickers and kind of do more of my scrapbooking planning, but I want to use this one, mainly all pen, maybe a few icon stickers for school. I think this is just great to toss in my book bag. It's really the boxes are bigger, which um, some of you may have heard, which I think will be perfect for writing. So this, so the way these planners kind of work is that the, whatever the outside color is kind of determines what your inside is gonna look like. So any of the cherry blossom planners going for the small um, horizontal one or this one are gonna have this really like a like bold, I think it's bold bouquet is the print. So you open it up, it's really pretty on the go life planner. So pretty, I love the contrast of the black and the light pink. And then we have this, you know, quote page. Open it up here and you've got your month. Also in this one, I just love the colors. It's like pastels, which I'm just obsessed with. It looks so good with these markers. So you have that page and then you go right into your monthly view. And this top bar, I just love, especially for something that I'm not gonna put stickers in. It's nice to have it to have the really pretty like floral theme. Um, so here is July. Love how the words are written out and how the notes calm. But let me grab my normal vertical just so you guys can see the size comparison. Just so you guys can get an idea, this is where my regular life planner 
these boxes are significantly bigger. I mean, they're quite a bit bigger, which I'm really excited about. Again, great for really busy schedules. I mean, it makes these boxes look so tiny. So there's that. I just love this. And then the interior pages. So again, this is sewn and you've got kind of a little bit of the bouquet at the top, which again, for something that I'm not gonna use stickers in, I love that. I love those little touches. So pretty, it's so big. So now we'll go to like a page. And I believe this is just like the same. I don't know, I, I feel like this paper is different maybe than like the regular old life planner paper. This just feels a little more smooth. It's definitely thin though. Like I can see the next page through it. But let's go to the vertical page. Again, it makes these boxes look like they're so teeny tiny. I mean, that is like a major size difference. But I'm really excited about it. Again, for writing, I think this is gonna be wonderful. I'm really excited to use this for school, just for a big school to-do list. I think it's gonna be perfect. I love the colors, so pretty. So there's July. And then we have August, which is this like lime green, which I think is gorgeous. September, kind of like this aqua blue. I even love the color transitions because they're just all so pretty. October is the purple. Kind of wish October was orange, but what are you gonna do? November, which is this pretty like powder blue. Oh, these colors, I love it. And they have some quotes here. Every couple pages. December is kind of this darker turquoise. Still super pretty. And again, that full bouquet at the top is just so gorgeous. January, you've kind of got this light peach. February is the lime color. I think the colors have started to repeat because I remember the lime. Yeah, I think they repeat in, um, what is that? January? Yeah, because it's that peach that was in July, I believe. I think that's the same color. Let's see. Yes, it is. So it repeats um, starting July, it's peach, and then January is peach as well. So wait, we should see some new colors, unless it repeats again. So we have, again, that like turquoise, the light purple, the powder blue, the dark turquoise, and then it does switch back to peach. So there's not a ton of different colors in here, but I do really love the color choices. I think those are gorgeous. It's that powder blue. I just, I love that. And this does stay open really well. This is the first time I've really opened up this planner and actually really looked through it. So we've got all those, and then you do get some note paper which again, since it's so big, I feel like I'll actually utilize this note paper. You get quite a bit. You get some dot grid, some blank sheets, this can be good. And then at the back here, we have this page which has your calendar. Love this. And then, oh, I love this old bouquet, so pretty. So, so, so pretty. So that is the light planner. The only thing I do regret not picking up is a like a magnetic bookmark so that I could have like my bookmark for my week in here and then maybe bookmark it to the monthly so I could flip back and forth if I needed to. But, oh, so pretty. So the bookmark is um, black, which I think is kind of cool. It's a really cool contrast against the kind of like peachy pink, I guess. I love how it has the name um, printed and it just seems really special. So I'm gonna put the planning pack on this so you guys can see what it looks like. And I don't know if I showed you guys, but the sides of the pages, since this one is the metallic, it's metallic rose gold, which I think is just stunning, stunning. The planning pack does, it does fit, but it definitely feels like a bit of a stretch to maybe put it on the hard bound. Let's put some stuff in it. 
stuff it up. Oh yeah, it totally works. I love that, that's so huge. And I could even kind of like pull it up here so you can kind of see my name. That's so nice. Just to be able to have kind of it all in one thing, especially since I'll be bringing this like in my backpack at school, I think it'll be nice to kind of keep like, I don't know about you guys, but if you guys are students or work in an office, like my planner pens are for my planner and then I have like my regular pens. So it'll be kind of nice to have a little separate pencil pouch for the pens that I specifically use in this planner. And also I think it might actually be, cause I don't think I'd have to worry about this one opening too much. But it'd also be kind of cool to just put this on the cover. I was thinking because, like, no, I don't know. What am I doing? I don't know. Maybe to put it on the cover that way. Like, I think that's also a really kind of a cool way to use this. That way, like, if you were in class or something and you kind of let me just throw like one pen in there. If you were, you know, in class and you kind of had this out as a little duo and you had to jot something down, you could kind of just pull a little pen out, flip to your page and jot something down. And then that way, you know, everything's still contained and you could just kind of slide it back in. I think this is so cute. I'm gonna put it on the regular like planner because I wanna see how it looks. Honestly, I don't think I would have, well, I might have purchased it, but I probably wouldn't have really used it. Um, for just my regular life planner because honestly I mean I don't take this really anywhere else um, but home. so I don't I don't think I, it would be really useful like if you just kind of use your planner at home I don't know how useful it would be to you um, but I thought for the school planner I'm, I'm interested to see how I like the vertical layout I was gonna get an hourly but once I saw the heart bounds I kind of fell in love oh yeah it's super cute on the life planner as well that's super nice but again I mean I don't just I don't take this anywhere so I don't really have a use for it um, oh I need to put this away um, so yeah I'm really happy with this now let me show you guys the little bit of damage so one little thing to note that I think is a really cute detail is this little flag that says 2017 2018 like I think if I kind of got one of these every year for college and then kind of kept them all I think that'd be kind of cool to go back and look and see like my assignments and stuff I don't know so it's up here at the flag I'm gonna try and see if I can get this on camera okay I'm not sure if you guys can see but there are like little chips and at first I thought it was just like a little glue and I could pick it off like with my nail but it's not it's actually gouges like in the planner I mean it's not a huge deal but I don't know it's enough where it definitely stands out to me if I look at the book from its side it's what I see that's in rose gold foil which is really pretty so I'm gonna message them I'm gonna see what they say I personally I mean I've been shopping with Erin Condren for about four years now and their customer service has honestly never really disappointed me. School for work, I think this is awesome. And I love the way those pages look. They kind of almost have a duochrome. On this side, they look, you know, white, and then they're metallic foil, which is just stunning. And definitely an affordable option, you know, if you're looking for something that's just a little more affordable, a little less, well, I would say, I think it's less bulky. Because, you know, this, again, this does have stickers in it, and I do have post-its in it. So it's a little more bulky, but, I mean, the heart bound is bigger. About width, it's the same, but height. It's definitely got some height difference there. Sorry if you guys can see my shirt in the bottom of the frame. I'm trying to stand up so I can see if I'm in frame. Um, but if we stand them up, we kind of put them next to each other. I mean, the bulk, like, if this was something you wanted to carry in your... Um, work purse or your backpack. I would definitely think the hard ground is much more streamlined. Ugh, I'm just, I'm so happy with this. This is so pretty. Okay, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna contact Erin Condren about the little scuff on my hard bound, and then I'm gonna try and get this off. If not, I will mention it, even if it was a freebie. I mean, I'd still like it to be like nice, but I think I actually will probably be able to get that off. But I will message them about my hard bound, and in the description box, I will let you guys know 
kind of what happened. I'm a little curious just because it's not like a huge damage. It's nothing huge, but it, it does bug me if I'm going to be quite honest. Just because, I mean, this is, it, it's, you know, even though it's not as expensive as the coil planners, it's still expensive, you know? It's still a luxury planner. So, yeah, I will put in the description box how that went because by the time I edit and upload this, I will hopefully have heard back. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and have a great day.